So, so, Dan so, gini najwa ya. Ha, can I sweet? Can I so fucking? Hey, don't ever leave your country. If I not even Ghana, I've not been in a. Yeah, I went to South Africa. Almost South Africa, the ATM swallowed my card. So I cannot say any good thing. Anyways, later on, but let me just talk about where I was born. Ghana is sweet. Forget everything. You you know what I'm talking about. You've traveled around. You've traveled around, right? You know Ghana is sweet, right? Yeah, Ghana. Jesus, Ghana is. Uh. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again, Charlie. We've seen since 2019, African-Americans have actually been trooping into Ghana. Even celebrities, American celebrities and British celebrities who have also done what? Visited the country. There has been a lot. I'm currently supervising some projects around Pampuram. There are a lot of African-Americans building their houses in Pampuram. And I know of a brie and some too have bought houses in East Legon, a lot of places they've just bought properties. Many of them, as we all know, have gone through some serious racism since they were born. And they live in a country that has white majority. They are not really being given the opportunity to showcase what they actually have. So since 2019, when Ghana announced them, 2019 was the year of return and every black person around the world should visit Africa. A lot of them came down to Africa, especially Ghana. There are a series of videos that I want to show you of African-Americans who have visited Ghana and who are currently living in Ghana. And they've shared how they feel since they moved from America to Ghana. Let's watch. One thing I have to say about the benefits of living out here in the motherland, in particular Ghana, well, you have to understand that there are 54 countries in Africa. This is not one country, it's one continent. But in this one particular country, I can walk down the street and not feel as though somebody is going to attack me, rob me, or shoot me. I can see police officers and they'll give me the fist bump or they'll give me the what's up sign and give me a smile. I can see people who look like me, whether they have money or don't have money, and know that I can walk up to them and communicate in a civil manner and we will deal. I can take walks three o'clock in the morning. I can walk and be by myself way out somewhere and not feel threatened. It's so much better for my peace of mind than the hostile living environment that I've come to know as America. It has helped me so much and I have no stress like that on my life anymore. And I wish you can understand how I feel. I am a black American and I absolutely love to travel to the continent of Africa. It's my favorite continent in the whole wide world. But one of my biggest fears is that the more black Americans come to this continent, they will not handle it with grace and with care. So for example, I am in Ghana right now and I'm getting messages and people are sending me texts of people who had a bad experience at a festival or like all two people who got their phone stolen and people are like, oh my God, I'm afraid I can't come. They don't have their stuff together. This is that. And I'm like, that is their experience. It's not my job to negate or validate somebody's personal experience. That is what happened to them. But I just wish more black Americans handled the systems that they think need to be in place with more care, understanding the historical context for why those conditions actually exist. And also understand that negative news about the continent literally drives people's internalized fear that Africa is inherently bad and it literally feeds stereotypes. I'm not telling people how they should feel. I'm just saying that as black Americans with all your Western ideology and our privilege and our internalized challenges with the continent already, let's make sure we handle it with more care and more grace. The more and more I would come to Ghana for those immersion trips for my organization, the harder it was for me to go back to the States. I had a conversation with my wife and I said, you know what, I think the next place in our journey is Ghana. For the first couple months, I mean, I would wake up and I would just be like, wow, we're in Africa. Like, like we're actually living here. And it was, it, was, it was really exhilarating and exciting. And for the first time in my life, um, I felt like a human being disconnected from the color of my skin and it was transformational. So the difference between visiting Ghana for a holiday or vacation 
um, and living here is. I'm in Ghana on a 30 person delegation representing the city of Houston. I have never experienced friendship, generosity, um, and a welcoming like I have in Ghana, particularly Accra. As a, a black American in the US, it was healing to return to the castle. It was healing to return to the river, uh, to reunite with my ancestors, to affirm everything that I knew about myself, everything that I knew about who they were. And they were so resilient that my ancestors lived through that entire process that I can exist today to continue to advocate for the rights of those um, in the Americas and abroad. Uh, we did more than just meetings. We were able to experience the culture and the people and the love. Um, Number one, you will laugh by default, just by living here. Number two, racial complications are not really a problem here. Number three, you will enjoy living at a much slower pace, but sometimes it can be a little bit too slow. Hi, my name is Kim McLeville. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And um, this is not my first time in Africa. It's my second time. And the first time I came to Ghana, I literally cried every day. And because as parents, and grandparents of people from South Carolina with roots in Ghana, I smelled trash burning and I smelled food cooking and ginger was everywhere. And so it made me think of my grandmother, um, a Southern woman. And so I couldn't stop thinking about Ghana. And the last day that I was here, when I was here for three weeks last year, I couldn't stop thinking. And I said, I have to come back. I have to come back. And I brought 16 of my friends because I wanted them to experience what I felt. And as we're leaving, going home today, I'm certain that they felt what I felt and they all want to come back. And I will tell you, ACC tours, I came with them the first time. I've, they, um, ACC planned this trip for me, this girl's trip for my 50th birthday. And girls that are on my trip are already planning to come back for their celebratory birthdays and their birthdays. And so my, my one thing that I'll say to you is this, is that if you want to come to Ghana, if you want to experience authentic Ghanaian culture and the wonderfulness of this incredible country and this incredible continent, book your tours with ACC Tours. You will not be disappointed. What's your most uh, memorable moment in Ghana? I would say my most memorable moment in Ghana was the naming ceremony because and the ancestral river because roland the guy that gives the tours at the ancestral river he really allows you to get deep in your feelings and he has he's so knowledgeable and he g gives you an understanding of what this river really means what it mean what it meant then and what it means now and what you can do going forward to continue the legacy of the incredible humans of enslaved people and what we need to do to make sure that this history never repeats itself Thank you so much. You're welcome. So this is how African Americans that have moved down here to Ghana are feeling. I have not been in that situation before, living among white people and they being classified as the majority. I've never had that opportunity to be in that setting before, but when they are talking, I feel that joy. I feel that pain that they've been through and it's like coming here it's a relief for them Their entire life they never ever thought that they can travel to a place and feel that they also belong you know and they are part of the majority you see they've never dreamt of that and most of these people when they travel down here and they get such opportunities they embrace it if you are an african-american and you want to travel down to africa especially ghana trust me this is one of the things that when you do it will change your perception and the way you think about africa in general and also the world because to be honest with you when you are living in america you think america is like the the best place ever to live and you just you like you are just there because you've lived all your life there but i'm telling you when you travel out especially when you come to ghana that this country it's a country that heals people if you are broken when you come here you'll be healed i feel like this place is the real israel or the people living here are the israelite because man 
we've had a lot of testimonies from African Americans and even white people, people from the Caribbean coming down and they feel so much attached to this place. That is how they feel whenever they visit Ghana. And I get so happy when I see them coming here and having these kind of feelings. I get so, so, so happy. So for me, all I will say is if you are an African American and it's in your mind that you want to visit Africa, try and visit anytime that you want to visit. I know that financially it is not easy, but anytime that you get a chance, try and visit. And I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. Thank you so much for watching.